Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hype Gazette, here with the next video, and this is a Town Hall 10 focused video. We're talking about miners and the Queen Walk miner strategy at Town Hall 10. Saw a taste of it last war against Art of War, and I thought I had to show it just because I think it's going to emerge as a very popular strategy. A lot of Town Hall 10s just getting those level 3 miners. If you don't have them already, I strongly recommend you upgrade as soon as possible to get them. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to use them, what types of bases to look for, stuff like that. So uh, let's get into the first replay here. We're going to take a look at just two attacks, uh, one of them successful, one of them not successful. This first one was a three star. Uh, the next one was not. We'll talk about why. Um, but basically, the idea is to do a queen walk or a queen charge of some sort. And really, as you'll see in these replays, it can be either one. You can get aggressive with your queen, charge her in there, have her bite off a big chunk of the base. Or you can have her play kind of a smaller role, just walk around the outside, and the miners can take on a bigger chunk of the base. Really, it can go either way. Um, but one thing I will say is this is one of those strategies that works very, very well against lower level Town Hall 10s. Now, of course, it can uh, be successful against uh, max Town Hall 10s. It's one. It's a, a good strategy, and I think you should definitely consider it against max Town Hall 10 bases, but it works really well against bases that don't have the max defenses. Of course, that's this, that's true for every strategy, but especially this one. Um, those miners are good at overpowering bases, and they, um, I think, especially against a low Town Hall 10, consider this strategy. But the idea is you're going to use the queen walk or the queen charge on one side, then the king and like a few bowlers or a few wizards behind him. Uh, you can pretty much do a very minimalist king investment. Uh, my king just takes out a cannon, tanks a little bit, takes out the defensive king. All very good value, but I'm not wasting too many, uh, too much troop space. Then I used a few bowlers to get a creative second bounce. Look for those bowler second bounces. Those are underrated and underused, I'd say, at Town Hall 10. But my queen gets great value. She actually shoots through the wall, which I wasn't even expecting her to do, and she takes out both Inferno Towers. So a uh, big queen charge. The miners get the job done. Uh, in terms of base identification, besides looking for a slightly lower level base uh, which this is very good against but against any type of town hall 10 base you want to look for inferno towers that the pathing isn't too difficult but they're also not um there's not a ton of dps right next to the inferno because in that case the miners will get roasted while they're being targeted by the inferno but even more importantly look at where those skeletons are uh, for defending the best thing a defender can do is put ground skeletons right next to the inferno tower that'll hold up your miners it takes them so long to beat through the ground skeletons that um, if you have like a replay you can take a look at make sure there's no uh, ground skeletons that are going to block those infernos otherwise it becomes a much harder attack to do um, as we go up here another thing to take a look at is storages uh, preferably the storages are on the outside of the base that way your miners are mainly dealing with uh, defenses once they're in the base and of course using the queen and using the king typically on opposite sides of the base you should be able to funnel them in so they only deal with the stuff inside the base which hopefully is going to be all defenses so you get your money's worth and they act almost like a defensive targeting troop if there's not much uh but defenses in the base. So this one was by Tornado Top Links. I'm sorry to Art of War if I am exposing a base they don't want to be shown, uh, but this was a very, very close attack, so um, I think it's it's worthy of being shown, even if it didn't quite get the three star. Very close, a few adjustments would have gotten it. Uh, first thing is that Rage right there. Now, it can be useful to Rage up the Miners if you already have like three heals and you don't have, uh, and you have like an extra spell you're not using on your queen or whatever. Um, you can rage the miners, but the rage was too early. You want to rage them farther in the base when they're dealing with all those defense, all those buildings, defenses or buildings. It doesn't matter. But it was just the inferno tower they were raged over, and when the group of like 30 of them is all together, the rage that early isn't necessary. So the rage was too early. The the next two heals were pretty good though. Um, good placement for the most part making its way through the base, the pathing a little bit unlucky because none of them really go off to the right side to target that next Inferno Tower, and it just kind of sits there for a while. But like I said, the Queen Walk doesn't have to be a big thing. In this one, the Queen just walked no rages, just her ability 
The other rage was used on the king and the bowlers, which could have got some more value had he wall breakered them in. But um, I guess hindsight is 20 20. Uh, but yeah, the queen just doing her thing, uh, used the ability, but that's it. Now she's on the Lava Hound, so she's going to be sidelined for a little while. But the miners still moving through. The only problem, uh, besides the rage placement possibly, is the this last heal he waited so long to deploy. Um, from what I heard, he just uh, was not didn't didn't know where to put it and he just kind of ended up having a last heal spell finally he puts it down but it's too late too many defenses still left up the pathing was a little bit unlucky you got to be careful if the base gets too wide because the entire back of the base just fanned out all the way across this area um and the miners could really go anywhere so typically if there was a way to kind of make that funnel even tighter by wall breaking the queen into this compartment that might have been a little bit too much, but some sometimes you gotta uh, have the the pathing for your miners be a little bit uh, less wide so they don't fan out too much and miss an inferno tower. But a very close attack nonetheless, and I think this one highlights, if nothing else, uh, the power of miners. Even though there was a few things that could have been improved, still almost goes for a three star. And these were the two bottom town hall tens. So like I said, they're very good against low level town hall tens. The deployment doesn't even have to be that good. Sometimes you can just get lucky because the level three miners are pretty powerful if you do the basics right. So uh, regardless, it's a good strategy against all Town Hall 10s. Just look for those things in the base that I talked for, I talked about, and uh, good luck. Hope this video helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bisectron out.